Okay, so this is the series where I'm just, uh, I think, reading mostly for myself. It's reading uh, poetry, individual points for the first time, so I can have that experience. I'm just walking through them, talking about them, without having prepped at all, um, and picking pretty random ones. You might ask, why are you picking from Poetry and Poetry Foundation? Ah, I just happened to come upon that site on the left it of my browser, so that's why it's here. I kind of think poetry itself has been way too conservative in its picks, but uh, beyond that, I can still go through and read some stuff. So <clears throat> I saw this one on the list, Anna Jackson. I know nothing really about her. The only thing I know about her is she is a poet from New Zealand. I don't believe I've ever read her work before. I'm sorry, Anna. Uh, to say that, this maybe hopefully this will change that uh, experience. <clears throat> Love New Zealand, so the idea of readings from New Zealand poetry uh, sounds great. Bees, so many bees, so I feel like prepped up the bat for a straight-up nature piece. Hard to say with bees. Bees resonate pretty heavily in American lit, but I don't know how they work in uh, the poetry of New Zealand. I mean, I often think of Dickinson when I think of bees for American lit, but who knows? Let's see what we got. After 20 years of marriage, we walked out of the bush and on to a rough dirt road. I love that beginning. After 20 years of marriage, we walked out. We get a line break right there. It's like, are we walking out of the marriage after 20 years of marriage? Are we walking out of 20 years of marriage? Are we walking out towards something? Are we just leaving? Um, but then you get to the next line, out of the bush, like in marriage. <laughs> like in marriage, you're in the bush. And so you're walking out to find something. Find something that's outside of what the marriage is. Uh, outside of that experience of marriage, maybe. And onto a rough dirt road. It's not even paved, not even cityscape, not even um, a place to go to lead to. It's like you're in the middle of nowhere. It feels like we followed till we saw a pond we might be able to get to. <clears throat> We're following this path, not knowing where it's going to and seeing a pond. And they might be able to get to the pond, but might not be able to. It's not something that's theirs. It's an alternate experience. That's Kind of a fun take on things, very kind of centered in nature. I feel like that first after the 20 years of marriage sets this whole thing up for, um, you know, a potential alternate reading on the whole poem in terms of like, you know, reading it as if it's some kind of, um, you know, metaphoric piece. The ground was boggy and buzzing. It was the first ground they've gotten to. Not necessarily nice ground. The pond was thick with weed and slime. So they get to this pond. After 20 years of marriage, they walk out and find this, and it's all covered with weeds and slime. It's boggy. It's not the sort of pond anyone would swim in, but we did. Other people wouldn't, but they did. And they did it together, just as they've come out of this 20 years of marriage, picking and sliding into the water over the bog and bees. Nice sounds here, the ING's in the end of it, and the, bee, the bogs and the bees, the repetition of these like last uh, these two lines together pickling and sliding bogs and bees um, kind of slowness that uh, and we'll put in there for you into the water over the bogs and bees bees we suddenly noticed were everywhere we're settling on our hair as we swam the bees being surrounded by them it's almost as if they were there the whole time but they just noticed them being surrounded by them um, ducks turning surprised eyes the ducks Turning surprised eyes our ways, the ducks are not surrounded by the bees. Is that it? Or the ducks are surprised to see people actually swimming in this. I kind of think these sur surprised by the bees, the, <laughs> the, bee, the bees turning to say, like, what is going on? Why do you have so many bees? As if the bees have been brought from these 20 years of marriage, this, like, pain and buzz and all this stuff that happens around them and the beauty of them, too, right, what they create. Or just surprised to see people in the water, right? After 20 years of marriage, that's a repeating thing. What is, it, what is surprising isn't really so much the person you're with. Yeah, you probably have that experience with the person. But to find yourself so out of place in this scene. You're with somebody you know, but you're in this place that's completely out of place. That you got to together. Cold. Okay, right, so the first line, I'm really like, turning to read this completely metaphorically at this point. Like... You know, you're, after 20 years of marriage, you find yourself in this space, which is not necessarily a good space and surrounded by bees, right? Out of place in this scene, cold. 
and the cold hasn't come up before, but it fits, it seems like, the relationships between people, but not able to get out without stepping over bees, so many bees, or the bees seem, of course, to represent something else in this piece, right? <clears throat> you have to get out, you have to step over the bees, and you're covered and surrounded by them after so much time, but after you d left it, so I don't know whether this, you know, at the end is commentary on marriage and trying to leave it and the difficulties of leaving it, or going out together and finding um, what you do together, and it's not necessarily a good thing on its own. Um, bees, so many bees, that last line um, is coming to a place in the title, but you don't have over bees, so many bees, and the last time it's the over bees that I think stands out to me so much in the end, right? A lot of nice play with sounds in this. After 20 years of marriage, we walked you know, the hua sounds out of the bush and onto a rough dirt road. I love this, like, onto a rough dirt road that stresses at the end after the, the string of unstresses. It's a nice feeling of this. We followed till we saw a pond. Nothing, like, mind-boggling in the, like, specific choices of words. They're pretty straightforward words. Um, that you would use. Um, some are not what we would use in American lit, just because of the references, but clearly simple words we know and put together in a way we can kind of follow in this narrative of it. So overall, nice poem. Um, makes me definitely want to read more of her work to see you know, how do you read this piece in terms of nature, in terms of getting out of marriage. I wonder if it comes in the context of other pieces. Um, Leaves me interested, that is.